Hi, I'm Monster1970, and today I'm going to be doing some maintenance work on this Troy built chipper back. I'm going to be changing the spark plug, checking the air filter, and changing the oil, plus checking the blades. So let's get started. What I'm going to be doing is replacing the spark plug. It takes a 13 16th socket spark plug socket and that is a J17 LM I'm going to be replacing that with a Auto Light 458 Next thing I'm going to be doing is checking the air filter as held on with two flat blade screws. Just got to loosen them up and then turn it a little bit. Air filter is dirty. I'm going to be getting a replacement. I don't have one right now. So I'm just going to tap out. Try to tap out all the dirt. I'm going to start it up, let it run for a little bit, and change the oil. This is a 7 16 12 point socket. I should be able to loosen it with this. I'm going to put my Harley Davidson funnel underneath here. Definitely needed changed. So it has not been changed in quite some time. I'm gonna put one of these absorbent blankets on here. To absorb all that oil that I spilt. Wipe the rest of it up. Plug back in. Spray a little of this super clean on there. Let's get some fresh oil on this. I'm going to be filling this back up with this premium four cycle small engine oil from Briggs and Stratton, SAE 10, oh sorry, SAE 30 oil. I think it probably holds about three quarters of a quart. Let's see.
Yep, that is still a four. First thing I want to do is make sure that the spark plug wire is disconnected so it doesn't accidentally start on us if we turn it. Next I'm going to take these four knobs off, one here, one here. One down in the bottom. And then one over here in the left. out of the way. The previous owner told me that he never switched out the guard. using an adjustable here to try to straighten this out a little bit. Let's see. Let's go to the other side and take a look at that. Take this shoot off and it's held on with four 13 millimeter bolts. I'm going to take them out and remove the chute and take a look at the belt. So I'm going to take a look at the blade. Should get Rotate this. See what the blade looks like. It appears to be a single sided blade. The dry belt. To do that. Take these three bolts off. Looks like we have a nest in here. See the belt? It's over there on the side. It seems to be okay. When I blew everything out putting the cover back on. I'm also going to be replacing the fuel line while I'm here. Put on a shuttle valve. First thing I'm going to be doing is pinching off this fuel line. side and remove it from the carburetor. I'm going to be removing the fuel line from up here. And that clamp's already broken.
And off of there. And use my long screwdriver. Trying to follow this hose back through. This is a Arnold gas shutoff valve. I think I got this from Tractor Supply. Quarter inch fuel line. It comes with a section of fuel line, which looks too short. Maybe not. Shutoff valve. And two hose clamps, which I'm already short one. Because I broke one. So I'm going to have to find a screw clamp. I did find one clamp. So we're in good shape. I'm going to be hooking that fuel line up to my screwdriver. And hopefully feeding it back through here. Cutting this hose. Approximately where I want to have this on off switch installed, it looks like. Flow is this way. Put a clamp on here. Direction of flow is this way. Get my other clamp. Get that one here. that and then that's gonna go up in the carburetor or in the gas tank like so and be able to reach the fuel shut off hopefully without any issues there we go now I gotta get a screwdriver Try put this up. Get that clamp off of there quick. Put the clamp on replacement hose. Fuel loss. There we go. We got our on off valve. 
See, we have the replacement screw or put the screw clamp back up on there, worm clamp, whatever. And the hose is all set up and installed. And installed up here. It should be good. Now I'm just going to put this cover on. It's four bolts to hold that on, 13 millimeter. And then I'll put the other side on. Slide this back in there. Okay, I'm going to put this side back on, this cover. vacuum attachment. This slides in and is tightened down with two nuts. Like that. And I'm going to reconnect the spark plug wire. Reconnect the spark plug wire. back up make sure everything works okay Share and subscribe and stay safe. Thanks for watching.